Hey guys, it's Comic Kane. Before we start this video, I want you to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and press the bell icon if you're new to the channel. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay guys, welcome to a brand new minigame that Hypixel has released on the prototype lobby. It's called The Pit and it's pretty fun. So the game is basically about you fall out from here or jump through here and you just kill people before you can like, you know, people kill you. And it's generally really fun. It's like kind of kit PvP but without the kits and all of the FFA. Although teaming is allowed, which can get really really annoying at times. Like you will face teams of at least two to five. And sometimes I generally remember in a waterfall area, I think it's this way. Is it this way? No, this is the lava area. Well, there are diff different areas. That's the lava area, there's a sky area. I think that's the waterfall area, that's the sky area. And in this waterfall area, I faced legitimately a team of seven. I was not happy. But even if you're playing alone and don't have any friends like me, you can still get quite a few kills. I'm pretty sure my KD is pretty decent, I think. I'm not sure. Let me just check. Before I go ahead and make any claims, you can like check your stats once you've got a certain amount, so a certain amount of levels. Uh, I am level 83 and uh, I think you can max out till 120 and then you can get prestige which is really really good uh, but apart from that the game is really fun you can get permanent upgrades and you can get item upgrades which are not permanent so here you can buy diamond stuff I don't recommend buying this because a it's a bit expensive so that's about 100g 150g or 250g it doesn't sound like it's that expensive but once you start making the gold, it does seem a bit expensive. And these are non-permanent items, so once you die, well, you lose them. But if you go into the permanent item section, these are items and perks that will stay with you. Uh, and, um, you know, you can uh, keep them even if you die. And you've got, like, XP boost, gold boost, and stuff like this. This doesn't get equipped in your hotbar. But these are, like, perks from Skywars that they're, they're in the background. And if you do something, you get something for it. So I've got like melee damage plus 2% which is really cool to have. I've got gold boost 30% which is really really good because it can help you get more and more stuff. Uh, because gold is not gold is kind of hard to get and with this perk it's really not that hard to get. Then you've got XP boost which I, I'm still at tier 1. I didn't feel like I needed more of that because like leveling up isn't my thing. And then you've got golden heads which are really really useful. And strength perk which is really useful. This is how I get my strength chains and like streaks. You can get streaks if you get uh, keep getting kills without dying. So it's kind of like, um, yes, well, kind of a streak. That it's it's in the naming really. And then there's the perk slot. Also, if my voice sounds weird, it's because it's sort of dying. Uh, I had a cold, and I'm trying to record a video because I haven't recorded in a month. And it's just going all over the place. I've also got the fishing rod thing because if you're running away and you need to heal, this can be a really good way of doing it. And uh, right now, there's about quite a few people playing. Overall, there's about 2,000 people playing well, at the time I'm playing this. So this game mode is really popping. It's a lot of fun as well. So that I guess that's kind of the reason why it's really, really good. So I thought I'd make a really small video on it. And oh, 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 can we get a kill right off the bat? It was a bit of a steal, but that's this game. And get another kill. I've already got strength 3 somehow. And destroyed. Strength 4. There you go. You've got strength 4 for 8 seconds and make it. Oh my god, I've just been. Oh my god, I just got combo the F off. Oh my god, I had strength 4 and I got combo like that. It's kind of hard to commentate and sort of, you know, PvP at the same time. Uh, it's hey, you're the one. Sorry, mate. <laughs> if you're just gonna stand there, I'm gonna have my revenge. That is just how this game works. Hello. Oh, oh, strength 1 him. Oh no, 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 no. I have very little help. Uh. Uh, eat my golden heads. Golden heads don't really give you a lot of regen. Oh! I, I think I got a bounty. If you have a lot of kills and you haven't died in a while, you can get a bounty, which is really, really good. That way you're getting more experience, and if you kill someone with a bounty, you get, well, you get the bounty. Oh, 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 come on. Okay, and strength one. Strength 1 isn't really that good, but once you start chaining it and it becomes strength 2 or strength 3, it goes all the way up to strength 5 and it becomes really, really strong. Another good perk that I've heard is Vampire, but it's really expensive. It's like 10,000. That's the same amount I paid for, uh, I think, the gold 30% perk, and I can't hit for some reason. Let's get that strength 1% and holy. Ha! Oh, there we go. That was a prestige 107, I think. Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure how Prestige works because you need to be a level 120 to see how it works. Oh, I died. But, 
um, I think it's somewhere over here. That's stats. Actually, I can check my stats while I'm here. So I've got about 1,600 kills. It's not that much. 833 assists. Again, not that much. And then I've got 722 deaths, which is quite a lot. So I've got, I think I've got a KD of over 2. Yeah, I've got a KD of 2.2, which is not bad, but it's not that great, really. You can do a lot better than that. Then miscellaneous stats, this is where you can see what all, you know, other stuff, like golden heads eaten. So I, I'd suggest as soon as you can buy golden heads, just get just get them. They're really, really useful. Like, you don't have to stop and eat a, um, what's it called? A golden apple, which can, like, save you time while you're sort of in a really, really tough situation if you're running from someone and need to heal. So it can be really useful then. Also, resets and reno reown. So I don't re renown. I don't know what that does, but prestige is level 120. What I think it does is basically once you reach level 120, like uh, dorkiness over there has, uh, you can get those blue bo those blue kind of brackets that Agents Red has on the tab list, and that means you've crossed 120 and you've reset yourself. So that then you can do another 120 again. I'm assuming. I'm not sure. Also, Agents Red. This game came out like five, six days ago. And I haven't been playing non-stop because I had like an SADU on Monday and it's Tuesday now. So, Agent Shred has been has played so much that he's gone and done one set of prestige. And then he has done another 107 of levels in that prestige, which is kind of really insane. So, there's not really too, a lot to do in this game mode per se while you're commentating. You could just, you know, maybe bring in a few friends and stuff. From a YouTube perspective, there's not really a lot to do. But it's a new game mode, so I thought, oh my god, this guy can get some insane combos. But he needs to go. Oh, never mind, that guy's following him. Uh, but it's so, it's a re it's a new game mode that I found really fun, and I thought I'd give it a go. And oh, I just got a golden head as I launched off. Oh, it's because my kill only registered now. Uh, that can happen sometimes if you knock someone into the lava or something. And oh, oh, oh my God, that guy just gave me the fat hell. I can't even speak because I'm getting like a lisp because of the cold, which is just horrible. But yeah. This is a really, really fun game mode. Like, till the point where... And, and, and... Till the point you're getting teamed. And you get teamed teamed on a lot if you've got, like, uh, a higher level. Just because if you're a higher level, you killing you would make, uh, like, give a lot of XP and stuff. And I've got strength 4 and I don't even realize it. I've just been, like, playing normally. No, never mind. This guy's dead. Oh, come on. I'm back to strength 1 now, though. So you have to get, like, the next level of strength within, like, 7 seconds. Otherwise, you know, it just doesn't, you know, count it as going up till strength 2. Is this guy going to follow me? Nope, he's got his own issues. Good for him. Oh, there's a high level right there. And, nope. Also, bow spammers are a big issue in this game. Like a lot of people just tend to both spams and corridors and stuff just to get the assist because assists can get you a decent amount of um, like gold and XP as well. Oh, oh, come on, it's your boy. No, it's not your boy. Is, is, is it? Oh my god, these two are teaming. I think. I, I think that those two were teaming. I'm not sure. If one of them dies, I'll know if they were or not. So a good kind of way to tell if someone is teaming or not is if you try and kill someone and get killed by someone else, just check if you get the assist on the other person. If you don't, then they were teaming. Uh, teaming can get really annoying, like, uh, if they're low levels you can you know, in a team, you can get a lot of kills off of them. But at one point, like, team teamers can get really, really annoying. Like, you've got a high bounty on you or something. And... Beep! That guy's dead, or deleted. And... Come on. No! My kill! Stay away from him! Yes! Ah, uh, and, and... He tried to steal my kill, but that's not gonna happen. I have strength. Oh my god. Oh wait, I'm getting teamed on. <laughs> I got teamed on, it's fine. It's fine, like, it is FFA, but it's a lot of fun even if you get teamed on. And sometimes, like, people will team on you because you're a high level, but then go ahead and kill themselves, kill each other as well. It's a, it's a really fun game mode, I'd say. Um, but a lot there's a lot of things that could have been done better, I think, but... It's still, it's in the PTL, so they might, like, um, change a few things before they actually release the game as a full-fledged game. And this game is getting a lot of hype, so it's definitely gonna get released, you best believe. Oh no! I won that kill. Haha, <laughs> got it. And at the perfect time. 
to take the strength off him. Come on, come on, don't run. Don't run, I want the strength. No. And let's kill him with strength one. See, and sometimes grapples don't eat for some reason. I don't know why. But they really don't. And let's just get... Nice. Oh, I leveled up to level 84. Sweet. Nice. And I'm getting both spammed as well as team done. Oh, come on. Oh. That was... That was... Woo. Um, I'm not sure how high, high my streak's gone. I'm pretty sure it's gone over 20 at one point. Uh, they should really add that in the stats if it's already not here, is it? If I'm being a retard about this. Chat messages, 32. What does that even mean? I don't know. Uh, guess it doesn't show the streak. It's, it's kind of dumb. If you have like streak, if you have like something like streaks, you should also keep it. You know, the, you should also add in the maybe in the miscellaneous section that. This is the highest streak you got, and this is the highest amount of bounty you've had on you. I'm pretty sure the highest amount of bounty I've had on me at any one time is... It was really low, it was like 350g, but having a bounty makes it a lot harder. Even if you're high leveled, and you've got like all these perks, there are about 25 people going after you just for those 350g's because of how valuable they are. Okay, that guy's dead. I, I really don't like this part of the map, like the sky map, it's just... No! Why would you go for me? Oh, it's because of my level. <sighs> Never mind, got him. And now I'm getting both spam. Both spammers, there are quite a few in this game and they're quite annoying. And, wow, that guy was lagging as well. It's fine. It's fine, but overall this game is a really, really fun game. Literally, I had an essay due yesterday and I've been playing this after its submission like the entire time. Even though I'm not really good, but it really helps me sort of focus and just kind of let loose. It's a lot of fun. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't a lot happening in this video or a lot I discussed. But I hope you still enjoyed it. It was just a fun video to do just because I really like this game mode. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. See ya! Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you. Come along and